So at Goodwin HQ, we're joined by undefeated professional James Verbeaton. How are you doing, James? Yeah, good, thanks. So, one and James, I know, obviously, you've been a, uh, an amateur for a while. I turned over a little bit late. You had your, your pro debut last year. Just tell us how that was, how that experience was. Yeah, it was good. It was a good experience, yeah. It's uh, a long time coming, and um, I really enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to getting back out again. So for people that haven't seen you, you was obviously amateur long, uh, a long time. What what made you t- turn over so late? What made you decide this is the right time there to turn professional last year? Uh, I weren't really getting many fights amateur. Just only getting out sort of two or three times a season. There's, a, there's not many boys around the area um, that matched up with me. And I just don't know. I thought, I thought it would be better suited to having a go at the pros, being strong and that. So I just thought I'd give it a go and have a little, have a little uh, venture into that instead. So, from so young amateurs watching this, what's the main differences that you found from going from the amateurs to the pros? What was the, the main sort of standout things that was different for you? Uh, I think in the pros, they tend to stay staying close um, a lot more, and that suits me. And um, also, I like the idea of having a certain date that you're definitely fighting on with the amateurs. You, you know, you just got to be on standby all the time, and then the bouts fall through. Um, with the pros, obviously, you get a date and, and, it, and it always happens, so it just suits me better in that respect as well. And what about the experience in terms of how did that difference to how you felt in the fight? Did you feel more nervous or did it just feel like another, another fight effectively? I don't know, with them making the weight, I think that took all the nerves out of me. Normally with the amateurs, I, I was always worrying, but with this, once I made weight, everything just... Everything was easy after that point, so it's a bit. It's just different in a few different ways, I suppose. It's a lot more, a um, lot more like, goes into put, making the weight, a lot more into the training and stuff. So I think you get a lot of confidence from that once that's all done. So just talking about that, obviously weight making is, is one that is almost as hard as fighting sometimes. How is weight making for those that's watching this that's never made weight before? How difficult is making weight for you? It's horrible, <laughs> much more <laughs> horrible than I thought. Like, yeah. It's a head fuck. Oh, sorry. No, sorry, sorry. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's right. a head fuck because I don't know if you like. It just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Then right at the last minute, it all comes together. But it's uh, it's hard. That constant frustration of one day being a little bit lighter, the next day heavier, even though you can't work out why. It's sort of like yeah. Your so mind well, I get to a point where I whack the kids for having a pack of sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you want to you want to kill everybody, but yeah, it's it's worth it in the end. Okay, so prize fight number two, the seventh of March. Uh, um, Bethnal bust up, I think the show is called at the top of my head. Yeah. How are you feeling? We're obviously only a, a few weeks away. How are you feeling for it? Yeah, I'm feeling good, yeah. I've had a few little issues and stuff, but um, I'm feeling good now and I'm, I'm ready to go and give it 100% and see how I get on, so yeah. Has the second camp been any different from the first or is it just much of the same? Um, yeah, it's been pretty much the same, really. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's been good. Um, like I say, I had a few little injuries to start with, which have slowed me up a little bit, but with uh, my luck for it now, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go, really. All right, James, so if people want to get hold of you, are you on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram? How can they get hold of you? Um, just go on my Facebook or on my Insta. Um, I think Instagram's JV. James V103 and Facebook's just my name. Just go on there and uh, give me a message and that and you can sort tickets out if you want to come. Excellent. All right, James, well, thanks for us today. All right, thanks a lot.